Hey guys, um, I thought I'd do a little get ready with me slash just like chat about pretty much nothing because uh, that's what I'm really good at. So here we are. It is one o'clock. I almost never get up this late, but this morning I woke up at like 930 and just wasn't feeling it. Um, so I took Atlas out, fed him breakfast, and then went back to bed until like 11 and then I had breakfast. And we went on a walk, and I showered, and now we're here, and I'm just putting some lotion on my face, because it's so dry, so dry. I love, like, fall, because it's, like, crisp and cool, but Alabama has no idea what season it is right now, and so we've been getting, like, 60 degree days, and then, like, 30 degree days, and nobody really knows what's going on. Yesterday, I went to a crew meeting, and... I got out of my car and I was in a thick wool sweater and jeans and figured, yeah, I'd be warm. I was not. By the time I made it to the hall, I was freezing cold and couldn't feel my hands. So, what are you going to do? So, I like to start with a little bit of concealer, but I don't actually own concealer. So, I have actually been using, I have been using the um, I Appreciate You eyeliner from the Ali Raisman line uh, as a concealer because it's like, it's nude, at least on me. Um... And it's a little bit shiny, but when I put my foundation over it, it doesn't, can't really tell. So I just like poke it on some problem areas, give a little smear. And it pretty much does the job, if I'm being honest. It's really good at concealing those, just like the three or four pimples that I have. I have to do homework today, which I'm not thrilled about. My business law class, I was super excited about it, and now I am not even a little bit close to excited. It is so many terms, and there are no space for opinions, even though we talk about ethics. Like, it's there are wrong answers, and it's just frustrating, because I guess my opinion is different than my teacher's, so it's wrong. I don't know. Um, oh, this is a... Maybelline Fit Me powder foundation. Um, I actually have really oily skin except for today for whatever reason and so I only use powder foundations because when I get even just a little bit warm I start looking like a glazed donut because my face gets so sweaty and oily. So I just like to pat on some powdered foundation and this one is like a game changer. I got it at CVS for like $7. I would recommend it 100% because even though it's a powder, it's like very nice coverage. Like if my face is really red or I have a lot of acne that I can't just like cover up with concealer, this does the job. And kind of bananas. Get under my eyes so it looks like I'm alive. Let's do my eyebrows next. I actually have pretty tame eyebrows. I'm very thankful for them. Um, I never really have to do anything to them. I give them like a trim, like I'll put everything up and I'll trim them so that they're even, just so that when they do get messed up, they don't look as bad, but like I don't pluck them at all. I don't get them threaded. It's so nice. This is literally a paintbrush because I don't have a, a real eyebrow brush. Is that a thing? Oh gosh, that's so dark. Um, I'm like 99% sure the eyebrow kit that I'm using is like expired. I, I've had this since like, gosh, I don't know, high school? So it's at least five years old, if not long, like old, more. Where did my paintbrush go? I mean, it doesn't make me break out and it doesn't smell weird. So like, I guess it's okay. I don't like all those rules on like, you should only use mascara for six months and eyeshadow for eight or whatever the heck the rules are. I'm like, no thank you. Okay, on to the eye holes. Oh, I don't have any eyeshadow in here. Okay, I'll be right back. We're gonna do the, whatever palette this is, the Speak Up palette from Allie's line because this is the only makeup I have. <laughs> so I went in um, too bold too fast and I had to wipe it off. So I think I'm just gonna play it safe and uh, go with uh, this very chill nude color. <laughs> and then spill it all on myself.
much better, much more subtle for sure. Now I'm gonna do the eyeliner. Again, it's by Ali Raisman. I like the brown one. It's the work hard, play hard one. Um, it's I prefer brown eyeliner over black eyeliner just because I feel like it's less intense. Um, if I want a look that's intense, I'll use black eyeliner. But for like every day, if I'm feeling like just doing makeup that day, I'm definitely just gonna use a brown eyeliner. Okay, let's go. Today has been such a weird day. It feels like it's been multiple days in one day, which is just strange. And I feel like Atlas feels the same way. Because like, we woke up, I took him out, he had breakfast, and then I got back in bed, and then woke up again, and he seemed very confused. He was like, wait a second, we already did this. And I was like, yeah man, I know. He saw a crow while we were on our walk, and like, mind you, it was a large crow. And he was having none of it. He wasn't barking or anything, but he was like... His ears were back, he was like, ready to go. It actually turned out very well. I can almost never do this eye as well as the other one. This eye is more like, twitchy. I don't know why I tend to twitch more on this eye than the other eye, but I just do. Score! Oh my gosh, both of them look really good. Okay, cap that. This eyeliner does not come off, which is great. Same with the eyeshadow. Like, you need makeup remover to own these products. I have no idea what brand this is. You can tell I've had it for a million years. It's just blue. <laughs> um, and I know it's waterproof. I only buy waterproof mascara because I am an emotional person. And I also like to swim, so... Gotta be prepared, you know? Um, somebody asked me to do a video about my Enneagram type. Enneagram? Enneagram? I don't know how to pronounce it. And it sounds really cool, but I don't know anything about Enneagrams. And I don't know what I would do. Like, do y'all want me to, like, take the Enneagram test? And find out what I am? And, like, what that means for me as a person, if anything? I know my Myers-Briggs. My fiance made me take that test before we were even dating. I'm an INFP. Um, but... Many would argue that I'm actually an ENFP or that I am both. So I'm very much an ambivert, like I need to be alone, but I also am very lonely. <laughs> so I think we're done. I don't know, I'd say it looks pretty darn good. Just an everyday look. And Atlas sitting on the bed behind me. Atlas, buddy. He says, I'm sleeping, mom, what the heck? Thanks for just letting me talk about nothing and do my makeup. Enjoy the day and be glad in it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.